Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 97. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now, let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the mini John Cooper Works Cup. Six races, starting off with uh, Maple Valley, New York Circuit, Sunset Peninsula, Magello, Silverstone, and then Road America. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Mini Cooper, Mini Mini Cooper. Bad. Right, slide. Oh, jeez. I just see like a bitch through there. Come on, get out of the way. I'm in my fast Mini Cooper. Move. I do like how this Mini Cooper actually handles. It's quite quite an interesting one. I'm not normally a fan of front-wheel drive cars. Um, especially front-wheel, front-engine. Actually, is there a front-wheel, rear-engine car? don't think there is. There's front-engine, rear-wheel, but not rear-engine, front. Anyways, not really a fan of front-wheel drive cars. But this is not too bad, actually. This is doing a good job. First game in a win already. Let's go. Nice one, Cardo. But uh, I'm 99% sure normally Battle Royale games, they give you a free win at the start. 99% sure that's what they do. So. Even in trios and stuff like that, they can do it. It's not just solos. I've seen it happen a lot in a lot of battle royales. Apex Legends does it. Um, Splitgate did it with multiplayer. That wasn't even a battle royale. It was just they did it in that game. Well, then I expect you to carry me to a win, then. <laughs> bang, bow, bang, bow, bang, bow. Good. Keyboard is actually better when it comes to first-person shooters. Is infinitely better. <laughs> this song is a classic.
Yo, Pandy, what up? Ha! You are one off of having the ultimate damage then. <laughs> hey, at least it uh, holds a steady frame rate. I think this will be the first time I actually play Call of Duty on PC, to be honest. Because uh, the last time I played it on PS5, and then the time before that was on Xbox, so. <laughs> do, do. Gonna try a solo game now though in first person. Wait, are you telling me there's a third person mode in Call of Duty? <laughs> I don't think Call of Duty should have a third person mode to be honest I think that's a terrible idea it is an FPS game it's a first person shooter I can't get no sleep. Bing 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 bing. I appreciate the load, Pandy. Watermelon and tomato sauce is great though. No. I did see a TikTok. I don't know what it was. Basically they were grilling watermelon. And they tried to grill watermelon to make it taste like steak. Apparently it tastes like steak. I, I think it's just like some TikTok bullshit. Except to grab a slice of watermelon, grill it and see. I still can't believe it's been three years since Warzone 1 was a thing. I still find it weird that we have, uh, what's it called? 
they made Blackout, which was very much similar to PUBG, where you could pick up, like, stuff, and that was an absolute flop. And then they made Warzone, and that was a complete success, but it wasn't much different to how Blackout was. I think it was Blackout, the other Call of Duty Battle Royale that they did. Strange. Really strange. Crap. Completely binned it there. Should be fine though. Alright. Every single joint in my body fucking kills. Alright, not bad. I will take that. Okay, so I wasn't planning on re-recording the race, but uh, apparently I am now, so result. Fun. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I come back and I read watermelon and ketchup is a good combo and I'm about to smack someone. Honestly, I give you permission to smack him. Watermelon and tomato? No. No. How did... How much was that mini slowing down? Look how early... This... I was breaking at a normal breaking point, but fuck me. Get out me wee! Get out me wee! Get out! Move along! This car is so much quicker at accelerating than the uh, Mercedes was. Especially at the lower speeds. Like, this feels like the similar performance to what the Merc was doing. Ah, oh, I just scratched my face and really fucking hurt. God, why are you breaking so early? <laughs> Driving me nuts. It just pauses before it crashes. That's perfect. That'd be like a to be continued meme. I used to have that as my ringtone on my phone. 
Do 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 That was my ringtone on my phone, I kid you not, it was fucking hilarious. Cause every time you it, it would literally be like a, I would look at my phone and as soon as the drop hit, it would be like a every single time. <laughs> yeah, if you can send it to me, I'll have a look at it. If you send it in chat, I might be able to load it up while we're going, while we're driving. But hopefully, here we go. To be continued. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. You just see it, it's about to happen, and then bonk. Bonk. I'm trying to open a bottle one-handed, so somehow I'm, I'm trying to like use my pinky finger to hold the bottle and then twist my wrist to take the... I don't know how I've done it, but I've done it. I, I, I'm now trying to drive one-handed. I want a drink, please. Hulk Jeers. By the way, you need to watch some of the past videos to understand that joke. <laughs> or if you're on the stream, it makes sense. <laughs> Hulk Jeers. You can't tell me to not change the topic so quickly. You were just about to give me a lecture about why I should should have two hands on the wheel. So yeah, fix yourself first, then you can come at me. That's going to get taken well out of context. <laughs> yes, we didn't mention Oscar. <laughs> No. Yeah, please, never do it again. Yeah, I was drinking, um... Wrestling around the Nürburgring in a Hawaii is batshit crazy, holy crap. <laughs> what, no shit, Sherlock? It's fucking Hawaii. And you've taken it around the green hell. Yeah. That was full of Kool-Aid. I kid you not, this little tiny sachet of Kool-Aid, you put that in two litres of water, and it goes, like, solid. Like, the amount of colour that comes out of that is unreal. But you have to put a cup of sugar with it as well, which means it's fucking sugary as fuck. But I didn't put sugar, I put sweetener instead. So, it doesn't give me the effects that the sugar has. Sweetness probably just as bad, but I don't care. Because those sachets are 89% uranium. <laughs> uranium fever has come and got me down. Uranium fever is spreading all around. 11% big dick energy for a joke I cannot make. <laughs> oh, wow. With a Geiger counter in my hand. I played so much Fallout, it's unreal. Was that in Fallout 4? Or did they add that for 76? Because I know they added a couple of songs for 76. It might have been more than 76 songs, to be honest. 
I don't want to set the world on fire. <laughs> Such a tune. Honestly, Fallout 4 soundtrack is pog. Pretty much haven't played Fallout, so I couldn't tell you. Do you know what you should do? Have a look at Fallout 4. Give that a try. Get some mods on it. Give Fallout 4 a try. It is honestly such a good game. Even Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas on PC is crazy. <laughs> I offered it. <laughs> you declined. The offer's no longer... Nah, I'm taking the piss. I'll uh, sort it out after stream. <laughs> uh. Fucking hell. Excuse you? Yeah, fucking excuse me. Yeah, fuck you. Prick. <laughs> Sky's always falling. Hurricane Performante, do you mean? Is, is it performance? In my neighbor's backyard. <laughs> it's Performante, but auto ah, autocorrect, fair enough. Yeah, autocorrect doesn't understand that the world has more than one language. Autocorrect doesn't even understand English. Like, it... The one thing that pisses me off, right? Is American English isn't English. It's... 90% it, uh, of it is English? But there's a huge majority of words that are different to the English language in America. They're just spelt differently and all that. So it's an absolute pain in the ass as well when that is normally favoured as English. It makes sense. There are more people that speak American English than speak English English. However, at that point, shouldn't we just be calling the language American? I speak American, you know, because it is almost its own language. Or American English, you know. Or as that one girl eight years ago said, American ish. Say, <laughs> that's brilliant. I forgot to press start recording again. <laughs> Imagine totally being in mod view this entire time. I mean, if you're a moderator, you probably should be in mod view because it's better. You get to see all the details behind the scenes. You get to see who follows, and if anyone's dodgy. <laughs> and shit like that. <laughs> bonk. Bonk. Ow. Uh. Yeah, please. <laughs> I mean, I can't clear them. So, sure. No. I appreciate the look, Cotto.
tell me that you need me. Not bad. Good first lap so far. <laughs> Let us join now. What the fuck? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me that you need me. Technically speaking, I am 62% of my way through this game, but that's in terms of total numbers of events. That's not in terms of total number of races. Uh, in total number of races, probably 48 to 50%. In terms of actual race time, probably only about 40%. We've still got a lot to go. Uh-huh. This game can take apparently about... 160 to 200 hours to complete. Like, just get first in every race. That doesn't include stuff. I got an email. Shit. Trying to find my emails, but I didn't nice 360, so I guess it went alright. <laughs> no, it didn't go alright. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It wasn't even a good email. <laughs> it wasn't like, ah oh, look, this is coming out soon or what. It was just spam. Fuck. Spam ruined by race. Someone explain why the car locks up at 50% brake pressure. Because you're not supposed to drive with more than 50% brake pressure. Brakes aren't... A set of Corsa, when it comes to braking, is very much realistic. It's, it's a full-on simulator. In actual driving circumstances, you're never fully break in um, even when it comes to driving an actual car when you slam on the brakes um, there's a system called ABS anti-brake system uh, anti-lock braking system and basically what that does I don't why didn't they call it ALBS it makes more sense that way anyways is the anti-lock braking system basically forces your pedal to reduce the brake pressure to unlock the wheels. The thing is, when it comes to like actual like driving, the amount of brake pressure you need varies. Ah, that's fair enough. That makes sense. No, surprisingly not. It's a lot less than you think. It is a lot less braking force needed than you think. Um... Typically, you want to start breaking at about, um, what's it called? You, you want to be breaking at a higher pressure and then sort of tail off of the brake as you get towards your corner. Um, because, like, the point where brakes will lock up 
varies as you're driving into a corner. It is crazy. Uh, emergency braking is technically as soon as your um, wheels lock. Because you can't put any more brake force into the car without it locking up. So as soon as it locks, that's just... That's your limit, pretty much. So that is technically where emergency braking is. When you're actually, like, putting force into your pedal, when you're emergency braking, you should be putting 100%. got an email dies oh <laughs> uh, I love stupid clips like that it's just like oh look I got s oh fuck yeah like honestly if you're finding it difficult I don't what wheel are you using Zeno are you using a thrustmaster or a logitech because if you're using a Logitech, you might want to, um... What's it called? Yo, Dingo, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Uh, yeah, if you're using a Logitech, you might want to adjust how your brake pressure works. Because the Logitech pedals are a bit strange. But if you're locking up, I don't think you need... Any adjustment in that. Like, if you're already, if you're using the Logitech brake pedal and you're locking up straight away, uh, I don't think it needs to be adjusted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, he's on, uh, what's it called? Thingy. A set of courser on console. Oh yeah, a set of courser on console doesn't give you adjustment. It's a bit shit. Yeah, this is a good song. Was this a GTA song? On non-stop pop? I don't think it was. No. I love this song, it's so good. Pedals are fine, just bad. <laughs> Fair enough. It still is a big song. You get this is like one of the most popular songs in the UK. And it's been it, there's always a remix every few years that gets trending on the radio. Always. Like this song is so remixable. P1, the Widowmaker. I thought that was a nickname they gave the um, Carrera GT, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought it was the Carrera GT that they called the Widowmaker. Louder than words. Talk to me. Oh, I'm so comfortable. So, baby, if you want me, you'd have like to show me love. Ah, uh, fair enough. Wasn't that the 599? Uh, sorry, the 955. There was an old Carrera that was really fast. 959, that's the one I'm thinking of. That was the 90s, okay, fair enough. Show me, show me, show me, baby! Is 
the one that ruined Japanese street scene. That's the one they call the Widowmaker. Really? I didn't think anything ruined the Japanese street scene. I thought that was perfectly fine. Oh, my neck is fucking painful. Here we go. <laughs> Result. Right, we got three more races, I believe. Show me, show me, show me, baby. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.